Today, it is by far the most difficult challenge I ever had. And that's because I'm gonna be eating 100 dishes in 48 hours. There are many different countries I could have done this challenge. But for my very first one, I chose Spain. I'll be hitting two different cities. One is San Sebastian and the other one, Bilbao. First thing on my list is beef, so let's begin. So we're finally able to get the meat. This place is packed, everybody. There's so many people in here, it's insane. This one right here is chuleta. They put a nice crust only on both sides. Good amount of flaky salt. And underneath it, they have that beautiful french fries. That's rare. That's not medium rare, that's medium raw. I think it will benefit more if you cook it a little bit longer, but that's how they like it here. There is nothing wrong eating raw meat. It's just that you will have a better experience and a better overall flavor if you cook it a little bit longer, just a little bit longer, but it's good. Here we got octopus and fish. They fry the whole skewer together. Wow, it is so delicious. It's hard to describe. The octopus, super, super soft. The fish, very flaky, but it's deep fried. So it has a little bit of crunch every time you take a bite. The sauce that they had there is just mayo, and it's literally dunked in olive oil. This is amazing. Pan seared codfish with a very special piquillo sauce. Oh, let's try. Mm. Mm. The sauce is super creamy. The fish is very delicate. It's not strong. It's not overpoweringly salty. The sauce is so good that I can drink it. Mm. Oh, that is amazing. Here we have the beef cheeks. Ooh, it is so tender. That is a bite of heaven right there. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Wow, I can eat 10 of those. It's beef, it's fatty, it's savory. The mashed potatoes is delicious, super, super creamy. There's no lump on those mashed potatoes. The gravy underneath it, mixed together with the mashed potatoes and the beef, is just perfect. So this one, we got crab mixed with salmon. <laughs> It smells incredible, man. It just smells so good. And even though you guys might think that I'm a beef lover, I'm also a fish lover. Mm. Mm. Exactly what you would think it would taste like. It is imitation crab, not real crab. Even though it's imitation crab, it tastes fresh. It tastes very, very fresh. That's good. Now, in Spain, everything that you are seeing, they call it either pinchos or tapas. I had no idea what tapas was until I got to Spain. To my surprise, it can literally be anything. Even a sandwich like this can be tapas, which by the way, it was amazing. My guide told me that initially tapas was created to cover the wine. Imagine you have a glass of wine and you wanna cover it from flies. So they put a piece of bread on top. But as time evolved, they kept putting little things on top of that bread. They started with ham and cheese first, and it now evolves to what it is today. And thankfully, I got to eat many of them, which were great and delicious. But after chowing down all of these, this one, you really gotta check it out. So this is called huevas. Oh my goodness, what did I get myself into here? Oh, that one is hard to swallow. You know what it is? It's a texture thing. When you take a bite, it feels like you're eating sand. Nope. So this is a chuleta croqueta, basically a steak croqueta. Cheers. Surprisingly, not one of my favorite things because since you mix it with the bechamel sauce, you barely taste the beef. Okay, so this one is sirloin. They also put that pepper on the top. It is so tender that I don't think that's sirloin. I think that's actually filet mignon. That's how tender it is. There's no silver skin, so it's a perfect bite. Eat this one rare, just the way they make it. It was perfect. Since I no longer have a guide, I have no idea what this is, but obviously we got some mushroom and we got a little bit of jamón iberico on the top and some type of cream in the middle, but I have no idea. We're gonna try it right now and let you know. It's cream cheese. Mushroom, cream cheese, olive oil, fried onions on top. It tastes amazing. So this one here, we have a little controversial ingredient, which is foie gras. If you guys don't know, it's duck liver, obviously with a little bit of bread, a little sauce on the top. That's amazing. Extremely creamy, a little sweet, and the bread has the crunchiness. I mean, I understand a lot of people don't like foie gras, but it's really good. So this one, we have a sea urchin over here, and I'm not quite sure what's in the middle, but we're gonna find out together. Let's try it. Oh, it's not fishy at all. Wait, it is fishy, but it's not. I think I know what it is. It's sea urchin mixed with crab. And then it has a little bit of cream on the top, which I think it's some type of cheese. Oh, wow. This one is amazing. So we got a ragu right here. Oh, I thought it was gonna be super tender. Not that tender. Cheers. 
When I was taking it apart, it was not tender, but it is super, super tender when you're biting it. Potatoes could use a little bit more of cook time, but surprisingly, the flavor is very, very mild for a stew. Now, after that dish, I kept going, everybody. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but literally, I've been jumping from shop to shop. Most of the shops serve very similar things. So jumping from one to the other on the video just makes it more entertaining for you. At the same time, me and my team chose the most entertaining ones to give more air to Time. like this one here we have pig ears I'm just hoping that it's gonna be tender oh wow that is delicious it is fatty it is porky where I thought that was gonna be a sauce is not sauce at all it's actually rendered fat so this one here is a lamb pincho there is absolutely no marinade no seasoning it is straight up heat and salt and I'll tell you one thing, there's nothing wrong with that. Here we have the cheese torra, which is a local sausage they have here. It's strong, but it's not that strong. Super oily and super fatty. Fantastic with a beer. I'm just missing that. Let's go get one. So this one here, we got artichoke, salmon, obviously a French baguette. Now I've learned from my previous guide, if you wanna try a lot of things, you should not eat the bread. So I'm gonna try not to eat the bread. I try not to eat the bread, I failed. That is an explosion in your mouth as soon as you take a bite. Nicely cured salmon, it has honey mustard on the top, that's what that is, and the artichoke. The bread is just there, remember, to cover the wine. Oh, wow. The beer is sweet. It tastes like beer and Sprite, and it's delicious. I've never had a beer like that in my life. It's funny because most beers that you drink is normally bitter. I would love to know how you like your beer if you like it sweet or bitter because that one was quite delicious. But as you can see, there's one thing that I did not do and that is to stop because this challenge had to keep going. Tapas after tapas kept coming. One more interesting than the other. And when you pair it up with a nice drink, <laughs> come on now. It feels like your stomach is asking for more. And there's nothing wrong with that. But the most interesting thing for me was that this next one did not have any bread at all. Okay, so it is a poached egg and it looks like they have Ramon in the top. Little Ramon Serrano. Let's uh, give it a try. Cheers. Mm. Oh my God, why is this so good? Immediately you taste the eggs, the little bits of uh, the Ramon stay behind as soon as you, you know, eat the egg and the cream that they make, that's white cream. It's like custardy. I don't know how to describe it. That one is really, really good. Here we have Ramon, which is ham, goat cheese, and an interesting paste here. Guga making a mess like always. Cheers. A little sweet, a little savory. That goat cheese really comes through when you're tasting it. That was delicious. Wow. So this one is made out of cheese. We have no idea what kind of cheese, but that's the good part of this thing here today. We're about to find out some new flavors. Okay, I'm gonna try with the bread, cheers. Oh, so this one is black pudding with cheese. I hate black pudding. But I love this. It tastes so good. The combination of flavors is just perfect. So here we have rabo de toro, which is oxtail. It is encased in a pepper. I can tell that it's braised for hours. It's fatty, it's beef. The bell pepper that is around it just complements the flavor. It's amazing. Everywhere there's bell peppers here, but not everywhere there's beef and beef is king. So this is more like a homemade version of the tortilla española. You cannot go wrong with the classic. Potato, eggs. Here's the thing though, it is wet, it's not dry. So they keep a little bit of those yolk kind of runny in there. And I think they fry the potatoes in olive oil or something because you can taste those potatoes. That is amazing. So a little bit controversial on this one. It's like a creme brulee made out of foie gras. Super creamy, a little bit of that caramelized sugar on top. It is amazing, okay? It is savory, sweet. The amount of creaminess, it's like a savory creme brulee. That's how I can describe this thing. You guys can see we have people behind the camera that wants to try it too. But unfortunately, this one, we're gonna order another one for them.
So we got walnut, uh, balsamic vinegar. It's already winning for me. And here we have some cream cheese. I believe it's cream cheese or goat cheese. We got the local music going. You cannot eat this and be in a bad mood. Tastes great. And because it has balsamic vinegar, it's amazing. Talking about that incredible music that is playing, that people here love to dance. Check it out what they were doing on the park. That is the beauty of the Spanish people. They love their culture and their food. Dish after dish that I kept trying, I've never even seen before. Some had toppings that were quite similar to us here in the US, but the way that they combine with other things is just amazing. And there's one thing that I was certain on. They serve you tapas so cheap there is literally because they want you to drink some more. Huge thanks to my wife for coming along and filming me with this challenge. Because you know what they say, everybody, happy wife, happy life. Oh, I have the wife drinking a little bit of wine, everybody. She's gonna be real happy right now. Yes, ah, that's all they get to see, just the finger. So this one, we have the pimenton, which is red bell peppers with some mushrooms, olives. Wow, you really taste the pimentos on this one here. Mushrooms, not so much. The olives, not so much. It's 100% a pimento taste. The bread, super, super crunchy. It almost feels like it's an old bread, even though it's not. It's like a crunchy bread. We got goat cheese, some dried tomatoes, pistachio, and more goat cheese. Let's give it a go. Cheers. The goat cheese is very strong. You don't taste anything else but the goat cheese. I like goat cheese. I promise you, I like it. <laughs> I know you don't believe me, everybody, but I, uh, I enjoy that one. Let's just say that one needs a more mature taste. And so were many other dishes that followed along right after that one. But I gotta be honest with you, as I'm trying all of these dishes, there is one dish that you must see, which is extremely famous there in Spain. So here we have the Basque cheesecake. As you guys know, I'm not a big fan of sweets, but I'm excited to try it. Mm. Oh, wow. That is amazing, and I don't like sweets. It's very, very light, super light, super creamy. And the fact that there's nothing crunchy is surprising to me. I'm gonna say it, that's way better, way better than the Cheesecake Factory. Here we have a mystery meat skewer. We all have no idea what it is. We're gonna taste it and let you know. It's chicken breast, everybody. It's good. But if you come in here, you see so many other options. You want to eat chicken breast? I mean, it's good, but it's a chicken breast, man. Would you agree with me? So many options are out there and you're gonna eat chicken? Am I crazy, everybody? Fresh ingredients, delicious and unlimited options. Would you ever even try the chicken? Come on now. Let me know in the comments down below if you would even try it. So this one right here is currently on the competition to see which pincho is best. It is cod. It has some flaky things on the top, which I think there are zucchini chips and some sauce. Let's try it. Mm. Mm. That is amazing. Combining the sweetness of the jam together with the crispiness of the zucchini chip and also that cod fish is actually sous vide. I can tell you that right now. It is a perfect bite. So here we have a risotto. The very first one of this trip, we have the rice underneath it. They put crispy onions on top. And here we have some Parmesan. It's gonna be a good bite. It's cold outside. The fact that this is warm and it has a very buttery, richy flavor of mushrooms. And when you combine the crispiness of the onion and the saltiness of the Parmesan cheese and the warmth that is coming through this dish, <laughs> it's amazing. So I have a feeling that this is cheese. Let me see if I'm right. Oh yes. And then here we have that wonderful pepino peppers that they serve you all the time here. Wow. That's gonna be an amazing bite. <laughs> mm. Mm. It tastes like a pizza without the crust. What you see on top is oregano with olive oil and obviously 100% melted mozzarella cheese. Wow. Here we have beef cheeks. Now it should be super tender. You can literally cut it with a spoon. Mashed potatoes underneath it with a little beef gravy on the top. Oh, I burn every single piece of my mouth. 
I had beef cheeks before. It was done completely different than this one. The one that I had previously was better. This one still very, very nice. But I'm very sad that I just burned my mouth. Cheers. Let me know in the comments down below immediately, everybody, what is the best remedy if you burn your mouth? I mean, I'm just saying, for me at least, washing it down with a cold one, it's good. But honestly, after I burned my mouth, dish after dish kept coming and they did not impress me that much. Some were great, but others, no. However, this one right here will impress most people. The final dish. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, extremely soft. Brie cheese. I believe this is some type of jam. I think this is going to be a sweet bite, but I can be wrong. Let's see. It has been a good journey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Final bite. Mm. We finish it off with a bang, baby. It is sweet. It is tomato jam, believe it or not. The brie is nice and crispy. It's delicious. Guys, this has been an incredible journey. I am very, very full. Let me know in the comments down below. Where are you from? What country should I do this next? I want to say a huge thank you from the people from Spain. They're being so kind to me, so warming. The dishes I had here were amazing. Some of them were not my cup of tea, but 99% of them, they were delicious. If you have the opportunity to come here, you will not be disappointed. It is one of the most popular foodie destinations in the world for a reason. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe because my final bite is here. See you guys in the next one. Take care. Mm.